My name is uh, Espen Hombobang. I have a restaurant here in Norway, also called Restaurant Maimo. We try to make a menu that makes sense, and there has to be a sense of vitality and a sense of energy in the cooking, so the diner gets, when they leave, they, they have a sense of enjoyment and energy. So each dish has a specific role to play. So for me, it's very important that the menu works as a whole. The first dish we're going to do is, is, a di is a dish that evolves around beets. Right now, uh, we're we are in, the, in the autumn. Uh, beets are just coming in season now. Uh, so this is young beets that we get from a farm a little bit south of Oslo, that we, we wanted to make a dish that kind of reflected where these beets are from. So on this field where the beets are growing, you have beautiful wild chamomile growing. So we wanted to make a dish that was earthy to represent the ground where the beets, beets grow and we wanted to, to, to do a floral element to represent the, the, the surrounding of this, of this field. So we take the beets and we just gently cook them in salted water. We break them up and we let them soak in two different kinds of syrup. One syrup with chamomile and one syrup with black currant. When they've been soaking for, for, for the night or 12 hours or so, we break them up and we, we, we dehydrate them just a little bit to intensify the flavor. In service, we would glaze them in the corresponding syrup. We serve these with, with preserved uh, blackcurrant and preserved gooseberries. The sauce is uh, chamomile and roasted yeast. So the yeast will represent, it has a dark caramelized earthy flavor to represent the soil and the chamomile to reserve the floral uh, elements of the farm. The second dish that we're gonna do is something I think represents what we do here at Marmo very well. Um, we're just coming into autumn now. Uh, in the summertime, we've picked loads of wild blueberries. They have a unique, fruity sweetness to them. Um, we preserve them and we serve them with an ice cream made of inoculated grains. So this is grains where we add bacteria and incubate them. The mold that grows on these grains, controlled mold of course, we make into an ice cream that have an earthy caramelized tone to it. We serve that with the blueberries that's been preserved in a sugar brine that just enhances the fruit and the sweetness of these berries. So there, this is where we, we try to really capture the flavor of the summer and try to serve them in a different season. 